Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video, where today I'm going to try to do a half and half, where I do half my time over here. Hi. Hello. Oh, my goodness. That's scary. <laughs> Look at that jawline. Oh, my goodness. He's so beautiful. And he's got a little beautiful on top of him, too. <laughs> All right. A little, little scary, dude. Just a saying. A little scary. Anyhow, I'm going to spend half my time over here and we're going to go check to see if there's any new presents, stuff like that. By the way, it was snowing when I was down on the ground earlier. So, what the flip? <laughs> Wee! Come on. Let's go, buddy. Look, it's snowing. I didn't know it was going to snow, but I think it only goes up to a certain height. I don't know if it's localized to the, the characters or not. All right, hold on. Let's do respawn. Jump in. And away we go. Let's go check it out. I love Christmas. Oh, oh would you guys like some Christmas carols? I like a Christmas carol scene while we're uh, in. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But oh, so delightful. What is this? Oh, dice. There's dice in here. There's no way there's dice in here. What, what is it? What is it? I, I got to see what it is first. Silly gift of six sides. If it's just a six side dice, I don't care. We are buying them. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. We got dice. We've got dice. I hope it's got more than just six sided. We might, we might come back and stock up on these. In fact, this might be the whole episode. If there's no other presents, we're going to come back and just grab all of these. But for now, to get me started, that should be five. Hi, Tom. Would you like to buy these five items for 1050? Yes, please. Thank you. All right. I don't know. I don't know how stable that is because that was, that was pretty wobbly on my end. Maybe if I just do this, if I don't look in any other direction and I just control one hand, whoops, is that easier for you guys? Is that, is that copacetic? Co copacetic? Is that... Did I say it right? I don't even know if I used it in the right context. Who knows? All right, what is this? I think we've already gotten this one, right? Yep, the green gift, a good golly goodness. So we've got one of those. We're good. Let's get these dice back. I'm excited. If you guys didn't know, I do play Dungeons and Dragons. And, uh, no, is that mine? Hold up, is that mine? Alex, Alex, you forgot a, a present, dude. Um, hold on. How do I, how do I type? Oh yeah, I'm forgot. Okay. So if you're on the native version of it, you can just regular type, but if you're on, whoa, the desktop version. Wow. See, my mouse is like doing craziness to me. Okay. Then you have to come in here and then you got to get a notepad. Hold on. How do I do file control? N for no. And I don't even know what that was. Something about Microsoft. Oh, that's the, all right, don't say it. Never mind. That was the link address for .NET 4.0, uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3 um, offline installer for ROM, or for not for ROMs, for emulators. Windows XP emulator. Or a virtual machine. <laughs> I guess it's not an em Would a virtual machine emulator kind of be the same thing? Not really. Not really. Okay. Um, hold on. I was going to say, Alex. You actually, hold on. Is it Alex even in the game? Hold on. Can we go to people's leaderboard? Yeah, Alex is still here. Alex. I have to go 
Uh, oh, I'm not typing on it. I'm typing a notepad. There we go. <clears throat> Alex. Hold on. Did that actually type? Yeah, it's typing right there. I don't know if you can see it off screen there, but just barely. You whoops, left a present at would R us send. Let's see if that worked. Come on. There it goes. Alex, you left a present at Wood RS right there in front. I did my good deed for the day. Okay, where did I park? Oh, I'm okay, okay. No, I remember. I'm over here. I'm over here. There we go. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Whoa, there we go. All right, let's just go ahead and respawn the truck. Um, actually, we want to set these all up. That was last year's presents, weren't they? I think we already opened them up last year or so. All right, 2023 presents. That's an awesome rotate. That's a good rotate. Boink. Come here. Two. I don't know if you guys can hear my daughter like screaming in the background. She's playing a uh, survivor game of some kind. I don't know. Oh, oops, oops, I hit the wrong button. By the way, you rotate on the left thumbstick. Amazing control, just saying. Whoa, I didn't know that. The GUI, the window GUI, is actually right there. So that's that's the distance where it's at. That's so cool. I didn't think the controller would do that. That's cool. All right. Sorry. I'm having fun. There we go. Real quick, I want to talk to you guys about friends, okay? If you have somebody who you consider a friend and they're con constantly telling you what to do, telling you no, telling you like evaluate whether or not you're friends with them because you're actually friends or because they kind of force you to be friends. Because those kind of friends you don't need. Okay. Do, 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 do. Your friends should be friends with you because of the things that you like, not because of the things they want you to like. I love the wrapping paper, by the way. Four-sided dice, eight-sided dice, uh, ten-sided dice, six-sided dice, twenty-sided dice. <gasps> and it's got the twenty right there. That's awesome. All right. Any more? Oh, yeah. One more. We did five. I always like to do them in fives. Five is my favorite number. It's, a, it's been my favorite number ever since I was five. People ask you, what's your favorite number code? And sometimes I say 42. Other times I'll say five. And the other one's pi. 3.14159265358979323843827950288419. That should be to the 36 or 38 digit packing number. But it's a lot of digits. Oh, oh, shoot. I forgot to check. Uh, what time? Record time? Oh, we're only at like nine minutes. Hold on, how big is it? Ten minutes. Ten minutes and two seconds. There. <laughs> we still got five minutes. It's cool. 
Oh, do you guys need me to lower the bridge? I can do that. I can do that. I don't know if they were talking to me or what once. So. I love 3D. Whoa, the notes? I don't want to know right now. Oh. What's up, guys? Watch out, watch out. Woo! Glad I was able to assist. Get them across. Whoa. The wink. All right, is this new present? I don't know, Do, have we gotten this yet? What is this? This is the delightful lime of excellence endurance. I think it's a ball. It's probably a ball. Okay, close. So we'll buy five of these because I don't remember if I bought these or not. One, two, Three. Oh, come here. Four. Come on, dude. I think that controller is going out. Uh oh. Did my, did my controller just die? No, I can still click things. Oh, huh, that was weird. All right, should be five. Let's see if he lets me buy five. Oh, you wanna buy these four items? Yeah, you got me, Corey. You made me miss one. One, two, Three, four, and we'll go by the fifth. Also, um, during Christmas and stuff, I know there's a lot of people who expect, well, I don't want to say expect. I want to say there's a lot of people who can't afford to exchange gifts with each other okay and that is perfectly okay you don't have to like spend money to give a gift to someone um this might sound childish but i mean like if you want you could write a poem or you could write a story or you could make up a play like there's other things you can do so anyway, i just I I didn't have a lot of money growing up. I mean, we weren't poor, poor, but like I always felt obligated when somebody gave me something to give them something back. And I want this to be twofold. This Christmas season, if somebody gives you something, right, don't feel obligated obligated to have to give them something back it's nice it's a good gesture if you want but you it's like not a requirement on the part of the giver if you're the person giving a gift to someone don't expect anything in return that's like unless you have come to some kind of agreement oh wait i've already bought these haven't i i don't need to buy these again get out of here unless you come to some kind of agreement or some kind of arrangement to like do an exchange don't ever expect that somebody's gonna have something for you or that you're going to get something in return if you give something, okay? It's, it's completely negates the point of gift. The gift. A gift is given wholeheartedly without return. How do you get a clock? Hmm. Presents. I think we already got this, didn't we? If I remember right, it was something about coding, like programming codingness or something. Yeah. 
of game knowledge. Yeah, we are definitely going to buy more of these. Just because. Just because. Do you guys remember when I come in here and make an entire episode of like just buying tons and tons of presents? Oh my gosh. I love Christmas shopping. I love the holidays. And here's the thing. If you're Muslim, Jewish, stuff like that, and you don't celebrate Christmas, right? There's a lot of my friends that don't celebrate Christmas. And that's 100% okay. There's a lot of the followers on here, a lot of the fans. You guys are Christmas celebrating Christmas and, and everything else. There are other holidays, okay? So if you guys are celebrating Hanukkah, celebrate Hanukkah. If you're celebrating, um, oh gosh, what's the other one? I forget. <clears throat> Anyhow celebrate okay just because like it's not your time for celebration or whatnot doesn't mean that you can't celebrate other cultures i mean like if you're christian you can celebrate hanukkah if you want to there's nothing that says you can't do that um unless it's against your religion <laughs> then that kind of defeats the purpose anyhow humans okay i just <sighs> if you're human and you have a religion th thank you like keep your religion alive but just because your religion's yours doesn't mean that it makes somebody else's religion wrong just different way of belief that's all <sighs> maybe i went into too much detail i don't know i just i get so frustrated sometimes Like when, if you sneeze and I say, God bless you, right? I don't need all this. The only thing you should be saying is just thank you. You shouldn't be saying like, how'd you get in here? Who are you? <laughs> Why is the window broken? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was a TikTok saying that. I just remembered it. It was bad. What I'm saying is we're all human. And we're all trying to live in this world together. Just because somebody doesn't believe like you doesn't mean that they're wrong. And it doesn't mean that you have a right to tell them anything otherwise. Ooh. I am not over here, am I? I am... I'm over there. In that way. I'm completely missed. Oh, not completely. I mean... Here's a good one. Alright, hold on, hold on. Switch views. Get out from first person. Hey, see, there's the gifts that I did yesterday. Or the other other video. I, I knew I had got them. Here, let's just... Whoa. Hide that. Let's go ahead and throw all this stuff in there. Can I just pick up and throw? Whoa. Well, that's fun. Throw! Oh, come here. Throw! <laughs> Skills. Three points. Ooh. Um. Were there any... The blue steel axe. That's That was the other thing that was up there, right? I think we need to go stack up on some blue, shit, blue steel axes before the Christmas season's over. Ugh. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this down. Christmas morning is going to be so fun. By the way, my Christmas video does not come out on Christmas Day. My Christmas video comes out on the, the, the day after, the 26th. So, it always comes out one day after. I have a one day lag time. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, this is good. This is good. We need to get. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're way past time. So hold up. I'm gonna pause. Pause. All right. There we go. So, <clears throat> yay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins. Good morning. Welcome to Oaklands. <laughs> um, hold on. My controls feel different. Whoa. Whoa. 
what is going on with this? What in the world? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back to controls. Controls. Teleport, jump, select, menu, reset. Okay. That doesn't explain why I can't go into first person. Like, the right thumbstick's not working at all. Oh, this is weird. Hold on. Oh, thank goodness. I found it. I figured it out. So, whenever you're actually playing in VR or whatnot, there's two different launchers that can go. You, you got your Oculus launcher, and then you got the Steam launcher. If you're running an Oculus, the controls do not work. They are set up completely different. But if you launch in the Steam launcher, this becomes manageable. Like, I can, I can actually move around and do things. Plus, I can go into first person. Uh, figuring out what this little area can be. Okay, I don't need chats, so I'm going to hide the chats. Uh, don't need that. I want to go get a choo-choo. Oh, wait. <gasps> we still have presents here. Okay. Um, get out of the car. Is this my truck? No, this is a trailer, isn't it? Yeah, that's the trailer. Trailer, trailer. Uh, the skull has a little hat on it. Oh, look at that. His little hat on his skull. On his little brain. Anything else change? No, not really. I should probably anchor that, shouldn't I? Hold on, can I slap it on the wall there? You know what? Freeze! There we go. There it goes. Alright. <clears throat> I was off to go do something, wasn't I? Let's go. Hold on. There we go. The menus are kind of hard to control in this thing. The Depot. Here we go. Oh, hi, Mad Mom. Oh, hello. She's got her little sparkly elf outfit on. She's actually loading in right now. If you guys didn't know, right there's where you spawn while you're watching the menu up there somewhere. The menu's up in the sky. But once you get loaded in, it teleports you to your base. All right, where's this choo-choo train? Oh, <gasps> choo-choo! There it is. Toy train. So buy them. How much is it? 2,400? I can buy that. Yes. Now I was... Where'd it go? Hey, where'd my train go? What? What the? You guys did see that, right? <laughs> Not crazy. All right, what is this? The gift of Christmas, $75,000. Now I'm good. Hot cocoa. It's 900. All right, what can I do with this? Warm up your day with a delightful cup of hot cocoa, and it's on its side. Type object. Well, at least we got this. Um, crap. I mean, poop. There we go. Bam. I, oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm stealing a sock then. Anyhow, somebody in my comments said you've got to get the Christmas train. If you don't get anything else, Get the Christmas tree. Okay. I've got the Christmas tree. Let's go check it out. See what this thing's all about. Jump 
about. Come on. All right, give me a little hot mug of cocoa. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We're just going to set you. Uh-oh. You're just running all over the place. Come here. Come here. Uh, what? Drop. Grab. Come on. Grab. Ugh. Grab. Thank you. Rotate. Rotate. There it goes. Yeah, that rotate is is weird. No offense, Hoofer. There we go. Lock that in place. Boop, boop. All right. So this thing is supposed to have like a whole bunch of cool things with it, like a path or something. Okay. Pool whistle. Place train on tracks. Color. Oh, no. Uh, let's do green for code primate. And do I just click or what, what do I do? <gasps> it does. It has a little train. What is that? Holy cow. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Hold on. I got to see this. Can we just go anywhere with this thing? If this works. No way. <gasps> it's a choo choo. Would you look at that? That is so cool. Am I supposed to sell this or keep it? Like, I don't know what to do with it. Mad Mom, tell me what to do. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to get a couple of those. That is awesome. Love it. I do too. I think the train is like one of the coolest things I've seen so far. Boink. So are you are you giving this to me and selling it or what's what's the plan? Oh, I guess I gotta give you permissions, don't I? Hold on. Hold on. How do I? There we go. Mad Mom. There you are. Enable all. There you go. Do you, are you giving me, hold on. Uh, oh, I got to do the, all right, this is odd. Click and then I can type. Uh, is, oh wait, am I typing? Yeah. For me? Question mark. Is for me. <laughs> I ne I never want to be rude and like just assume. So. Uh, yes. Can you sign stocking? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. Wait. What do you mean? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not. I can. There you go. I think I sent it. Yes, I can. Here you go. That is so cool. Screenshot that. Wow. Okay, hold on. Minimize that. Get Mad Mom standing there. 
Hold on. I want to see if you guys can see the 3D. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, not that. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> is that? Yeah, that is appearing on the screen. All right, let's go to settings, eyes, and we're going to do both eyes for a moment so you can see the awesomeness of this thing. I don't know if you've got 3D software that'll help you see the video, but. Thing is crazy. Mad Mom! In a 3D version of Mad Mom. Hi, Mad Mom! <laughs> All right. Let's go back. Settings. I left eye only there we go all right well um joink joink is there any more over there nope all done dunsky Come on, get in the car. Get in the car. There you go. Drive forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Back it up. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Good. All right. Since these are all Christmas gifts, we're going to put these over here. And did I see a bomb in there? Nice. I want a bomb for Christmas. Bomb, 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 da bomb, bomb, da bomb. Come on, get out of there. Come on. Get out of there. Why is it not lifting up? Ah, there it goes. Something is going on. The lag is for real. I'm for real. I'm for real. Whoa. Boom. Would you guys want to see me play Population One? And here's the question. It is VR and it does have guns, but it's more kiddish than violent. And I don't know if you guys, like I did Fortnite, but that's only because there was no blood. And I guess there's no blood on this one. It's just, it's red. So, you're like a VR. Oh, I missed one. There we go. Man mom coming with or no? Or are you well, I guess she's doing her own thing. Okay, I'm down. You do your thing and I'll go this way. Jeer. What's up, Jeer? Jeer. Jeer. Oh, I guess I need to see. 20,000. Yes, please. Woo! 20,000. Thank you, Mad Mom. Lots of money. Okay. Uh, I think let's, let's go check the, uh, time. Oh yeah. I'm over by 34 minutes. That time right there, 34 minutes. So we'll, uh, we'll take an outro from here. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Oaklands with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I did kind of a half and half for Lumber and Oaklands just to see if you guys would like it or not. And I know that you guys like the first one that I did kind of like this, but I don't know. I mean, it, it almost feels like I shouldn't be doing it. Like the, I should keep the two videos separate, but I like it. I like the two videos. You don't like it? Is it, is it, she shake her head? All right. 
Thank you everyone for watching these episodes of Oakland's Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. <gasps> I love you for that. Have a great night. Be yourself, be unique, and we'll talk to you, Daddy, soon. <sighs> Outro.